Um, I have the pleasure now uh, to uh, go on a virtual tour with you. But before I do that, uh, let me just invite you to our next panel, which is happening tomorrow um, at 10 a.m. CET, Understanding Differences, Changing Perspectives. Uh, make sure you join a bit earlier since we're starting on time. Um, for those who have not registered and those who have registered, uh, you should have received a separate link for the panel in the after uh, in the morning. If you're interested in this panel but you haven't registered, you will find the link to join in this chat. So now we are going to our online tour. Yes, with a virtual tour uh, of the exhibition. Yes. Uh, 51,000, thank you, Balthasar City at the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. The virtual tour is facilitated by our, our partner, Rijeka 2020. We would actually uh, have loved to see this tour in person, but I'm actually also very excited to see how the digital translation of this tour is going to happen. Okay, so uh, I will do this introduction with masks and then we will un unmask afterwards. Okay, here we are. Uh, are you hearing, seeing and hearing as well? It's all working fine? I hope so. Yes, okay, it's all fine. Okay, so uh, my name is Zoran Krushwar. I work for uh, IECA 2020. And I will, I will now present my guests, well guests, I'm actually their guests when we are on the exhibition because they are the most uh, responsible people for it. Uh, this lady here is Christina Wolf. Hi. Hello. Uh, she is from uh, Brigada. Brigada is a design agency and she is our art director. And a gentleman here is Željko Luketic, he's our custodian. So he's responsible for all the articles that you can see on our exhibition. And uh, they will do most of the talking. I will just do a short introduction here and I would like to start my presentation right now, if you don't object. Okay. Share this. Okay, so I would like to welcome you all to Balthazar Town. Now I can remove this. Balthazar Town is the name of the fictional town where uh, Professor Balthazar, the hero of uh, most famous creation animated series, has his adventures. So why do we have an uh, exhibition about Balthazar town? It's because our town, uh, Rijeka, is actually inspiration for actual Balthazar town, but uh, other speakers will tell you more about it. What I would like to say is that this is, of course, part of the Rijeka 2020 uh, program, European Capital of Culture. And while we were announcing our European capital of culture, we were always saying that it's going to be one very, very, very special year. And guess what? It's really a special year. So, well, we do have also a special exhibition. Uh, this exhibition is part of the Children's House program, program line. Children's House, it's one of the program lines of Rijeka 2020 European Capital of Culture program. And what's so special about Children's House is that it is a program line dedicated to children, of course. Now, when we were thinking about children's programs, we wanted to do something special. We, will, we were thinking about children as the future citizens of our city and of our country and of our world. And we wanted them to be better citizens. So we were thinking about what shall we do about it? And we decided to make a program line which consists of programs that involve children as active participants. We didn't want them to be passive audience. So we had a number of programs, festivals, um, performances, exhibitions where children could, be, could take part and do something actively. 
And this exhibition was one of those programs. We, want, we wanted children to take part, to experience it, and to be submerged into the, into the world of uh, cartoons and into the world of Professor Balthazar. Now, besides Rijeka being inspiration for the background for the Balthazar town in the cartoon, we also love this idea of having an exhibition dedicated to Professor Balthazar because we shared certain values. The values that we had as a children's house program line and also as the Rijeka 2020 European Capital of Culture are the same values that were promoted by uh, animated series Professor Balthazar. Those values are helping each other, nonviolence, learning, always finding something new, uh, science as very important part of our lives, and of course, taking action, not being just passive observers. So uh, since we shared all those values with Professor Balthazar, it was only logical to take Professor Balthazar as a uh, main, well, this is the main exhibition that Children's House is doing. Uh, this is what I wanted to say, and now I would like to invite Jelko, who is our custodian, who will say some other things about how Professor Balthazar came to, to be and what are we doing with this exhibition here. So Jelko, please. Hey. Thank you, Zoran. Uh, thank you for introduction. This is uh, Jelko Lukatic. I'm a curator of the Balthazar Town exhibition. Uh, the, as Zoran said before, uh, this exhibition was part of the values, shared values between uh, Rijeka 2020 and uh, animated series Professor Balthazar. For those who are unacquainted with this, uh, it's probably the most famous animated cartoon series in uh, ex Yugoslavia, now, now Croatia. Uh, it started in 1967 with the first episode. I think the next screen will show that. Okay, this is Balthazar history. So I already started. It started in 1967 and was uh, made up until 1978. It was uh, four, uh, four seasons, as we used to speak today, uh, 59 episodes, 10 minutes each, and the last seasons uh, were only five minutes. The, the famous series was very uh, well received uh, all over the world, especially in Asia and America and Scandinavia, where it was also shown in the panel institutions. Uh, it was shown in schools. Uh, it was very popular. We also have on our exhibition uh, so even some uh, children's records with songs about Balthazar translated into Swedish. So it's a kind of a famous character who uh, stood alone as a single, uh, single most recognizable character in Zagreb School Animation. Uh, Zagreb School Animation was probably, as you know, uh, mostly known uh, for, its, for its abstract art and animation. Uh, it already with the Erzats from Dushan Vukotic received an Oscar, but the Balthazar series were aimed at children's uh, audience and it really succeeded uh, in that. It was uh, already in 1968 when it uh, came first to Mamaya Animation Festival, it received uh, contributions from another pro production house. So it, so it became one of the first joint ventures be between then uh, Yugoslavian uh, production house Zagrofilm and German production house Windrose Dumont uh, time, uh, which later became Windrose uh, Fernsehen. Uh, Balthazar uh, is a famous uh, cartoon character uh, for its, uh, let me go to the next panel. Uh, yeah, uh, on this panel you will, you will see that we, uh, uh, on the exhibition Balthazar Town, uh, tried to cover a few aspects of the history. One was the, 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 
starting of the series, the the reaching to audience, reaching to festivals, and uh, also we try to uh, put the children into knowing about the process of animation. So we uh, split the, the exhibition into four parts, which will be later uh, explained by our designer. But the, from the history part, uh, it is uh, used to uh, will uh, inform children and uh, adult audiences about the offers, about the animation process. We are, of course, talking about analog animation, uh, which is now completely uh, done digital way. So it was, uh, as you see here, you can see some of the offers. Offers uh, famous are uh, from, of course, Zagreb House of Animation, Zlatko Gergic, Shanti Zaninovic, and especially Zlatko Borek. You, you might know him from his uh, other cartoon work and uh, especially theater work. Uh, he, he made scenery and he was uh, responsible for making Rijeka and Balthazar a town uh, quite the same because first time he came into Rijeka he was amazed with the town with its structure architecture and uh, vivid colors so he put this that scenery in Balthazar so Balthazar was uh, we see now uh, was not only made with those offers with, uh, with uh, which were on the credits but uh, with some unknown workers, which is one part of the exhibition we dedicated to uh, famously unknown uh, drawers or copists or other workers on the series because it was manual work and uh, one frame of the uh, film, uh, exactly one second, was made of 24 drawings. So each drawing had to be done manually. Uh, it had to be phased, copied, and colored. And all that work was uh, done by female workers, unknown female workers, uh, who, was, who were never credited. So one of a part of the exhibition, we uh, it took acknowledgement of that female work, which is kind of unrepresented and typical for the 60s and the 70s. Even for the job applications for the series, they didn't have to know how to draw. They just wanted, as, as some of the ads said, to have a firm hand. So uh, there was lots of firm hands, uh, mostly female, and we tried to uh, acknowledge that work with some of the exhibits. As I uh, already said, uh, uh, part of the exhibition is learning about animation process. It was like from uh, the process between uh, the first idea, then the first drawings, then the uh, storyboards, the screenplays, and uh, at last uh, the taping and the drawing of the each cells. Uh, so on the exhibition, we have a huge selection of original cells from the, uh, that period. Uh, they, were, they were very hard to find because uh, it's almost uh, 40 to 50 years old material, and uh, some of the uh, some of the cells are really, really piece of the art itself. Uh, although they were done in animation way, like they were they were exactly copies done by the female workers you, you have seen before. Uh, all other parts of the exhibition are between uh, are the Balthazars receive, uh, receiving uh, and traveling around the world on the various festivals and re uh, film reviews. Uh, one of, the, as you see there, this is Cartoon Club in Italy in 96. This was important because you can see the Balthazar here in a really good company uh, from La Linea, famous, uh, La Linea, famous Italian cartoon and other cartoons. So the Balthazar were really, very well known. Uh, even uh, Chuck Jones, famous uh, animator from USA, uh, paid a tribute to Balthazar with one of his um, characters. So uh, let me go to another. Uh, international context was also important because uh, the, the, the Balthazar started with the first exhibition in MoMA, Museum of Modern Art in uh, New York. 
uh, when it when it when it was screened, and later uh, ABC Television took uh, the series on their screens. So even American audiences were very well known with the Balthazar concept. The concept was really simple for that time. It was. Uh, one or two problems in the Balthazar town with its uh, with its inhabitants, and Balthazar all, always solved the problems in non-violent way. Uh, of course, with the use of science, he had his uh, uh, wondrous machine for solving problems, and uh, they never, uh, as it was. Uh, similar to other cartoons of that time, like Tom and Jerry and others, there is no chasing, there is no beating, there is no violence of any kind. So Balthazar learned uh, children uh, to solve the problems with agreement and uh, on the way that each each side uh, should be satisfied. Uh, every episode ended with solving the problem. They everybody danced or sang a song. On the, he was also emphasizing the value of friendship, the value of uh, noting different the other. The other was always important in the concept of uh, Balthazar, and all, all that was done in a particularly designed way, which was of course inspired by Rieka, but also with naive art or creation naive art, and mostly with the psychedelic art in America. One of the very well-known influences on the designs of Balthazar was, of course, a yellow submarine. And uh, it was uh, right, right there up until the fourth season when the German uh, production house wanted to go with the Balthazar in another way. We, all, we covered all that uh, with document, documentation on the exhibition. We even have letters between directors and uh, handwritten uh, notes on storyboards uh, where you can see the process how the character grows into life what the production uh, bosses want of the character what the german side wants to, wanted to do with balthazar and what the croatian side wanted to do with balthazar uh, it uh, was actually very very successful right right out until the end in 1978 uh, when it was uh, actually uh, financing the other cartoons from the uh, famous Zagreb School of Animation. Uh, let me go to the next. Oh, I'm already on the on the next. So let me finish this with the, uh, further uh, notes about the exhibition that are including uh, from the famous Balthazar machine. We have. Uh, uh, the, the design of uh, credits of the whole series uh, where you can see the changes in design. We have uh, uh, international awards from Maya to Mostra in Italy, uh, then photographs from the show, photographs from the authors, uh, storyboards, and even some kind of a special films which were never in a filmography of the Balthazar, they were called uh, mini films because uh, they, they even they called it bridges. It was uh, short educational films done between two seasons for the educational purposes in Germany. Sadly, no, no, uh, none of these films are digitized in Croatia, so we only have uh, storyboards. So it's a lot of material combined with the learning possibilities uh, for children, but uh, for their parents too. So. Uh, let me now uh, to conclude this with the thank you note for the uh, Rijeka 2020, the city Rijeka, the mayor and the uh, uh, Museum of Contemporary Culture in Rijeka who all did this uh, together with us and it was a really large effort in this usually and unusually strange times. We, sh we should all need an Balthazar to, to solve some of these problems. So thank you for listening to me. And uh, may I introduce now our designer, uh, Christina from Brigada Design Studio. Thank you for listening. Hi, nice to meet you all. Uh, I'm Christina from Brigada Agency. 
uh, we did the visual identity and uh, exhibition design for the Balthazar city. Uh, we were happy to do it. It was a whole project that we did. I would just like to say, like the Jelko already said, uh, the inspiration between the city of Rijeka and the Balthazar city. Um, so we came here from the similarities. Um, we divided the whole museum in the four parts. Uh, you come from the sea to Rijeka, so you uh, here uh, cross, the, cross one room that is represented at the sea, then we cross the river and then we enter the Balthazar city and at the last we have a room for the space. Uh, I will go now through uh, each part of the exhibition and how we design it. This is the entrance, uh, and here are the, the main motive is the head from the Professor Balthazar in the cartoon, and we used to it in, the, in our visual, uh, visual identity, and it is the main part um, when you come into the museum, so it's like a welcoming uh, part of the exhibition. You will see it how it looks now. You're climbing up the, uh, up the stairs, uh, so when you climb, uh, there is a welcoming note on the wall, and when you climb, you see above uh, all the heads in these colorful uh, tones. This is the main wall uh, that represents the entrance to the Baltimore city, and when you're clapping your hands, the lights are uh, switching from uh, red to yellow, uh, blue and green. Uh, the speciality in all the episodes of Balthazar, uh, Balthazar cartoon is ice cream. So we put this ice cream machine so every little visitor can have an ice cream. Because everything that was uh, uh, solved, all the problems in the episodes, uh, they always uh, have ice cream like a reward. Uh, after the entrance, we come into the room, the sea, and it's, it was inspired by the episode Hannibal Alps. And we wanted to here to have this atmosphere that is calm. Uh, the main um, theme was the lighthouse and the sea. And uh, over the uh, walls, you can see the projection of the cartoon uh, characters and the whales. And uh, you can hear the sound of the uh, sea seagulls and uh, other sounds. Here is the movie. It is. Uh, quite nice and ambient room for the start. Yes, so they're traveling all around the walls. This is the main character from the episode. Mm. Yes, so uh, when we come to the other uh, wall of the lighthouse, it's, um, we have now this, the moment for the cartoonist, female cartoonist, and we put a big, big uh, blank part of the paper so the kids can draw it whenever they want. And now over four weeks, it's uh, the exhibition it showed, it's full of the uh, drawings and the Balthazar city, uh, how they see it and inspiration of the Balthazar. So uh, yeah, you can see them. It's the thing when you give them uh, opportunity, the kids will definitely use it. And even the grown ups. Even I did it when the f it was the first opening of the first day. Uh, then we cross uh, the river. The river, the name of the river is Riechina. And the inspiration was the Vanilla Monster, is the name of the episode. And when you cross the bridge, you came to the Balthazar city. But from the Balthazar city, you can come to this um, little, little dock where you can, uh, if you uh, rotate the wheel, then you can see the um, episode of the vanilla monster or how we call the monster fufu. So this part is quite interactive and kids can uh, stop it or let the animation go uh, by um, uh, turning on the wheel. Like you see it like here. So the idea was that the little children always think maybe in their river really exists the monster Pufu. And now finally we came to the Balthazar city town. The whole idea was when the visitors come, come to the exhibition that they really feel that they are in some other place. So it is really a Balthazar city. Uh, they go through the passage, through the windows, they see little squares, they're uh, watching this whole exhibition with the new eyes. And so when they come to the different parts of the exhibition, they experience something new. 
So every part of this Balthazar town uh, exhibition has its inspiration in the episodes of the Balthazar um, cartoon. So here uh, you can see a lot of plant, plants, plants that you're viewing through uh, panels that are in other colors. So it's, it's quite complex uh, to, uh, it, it invites you to explore and go through all the whole space. These are the parts where our original cells from the animation hand drawn and how this is how you move through the exhibition. Part of where the pink flowers are was the inspiration in a birthday story from the original uh, episode. Here we can see all the exhibits. This uh, part is the design by Lina Kovacic, um, designer. She uh, invented the Balthazar machine that always solves some kind of problem, depends on the episode. No, yes, this part is maybe the most uh, loud one. It's the theremin where every visitor can play something on their own, but it's not a usual instrument. It's something that you can rarely see, but definitely inspires you to think stuff in a different way. Yeah. And now finally we come to the room space. This is uh, inspiration was from all the episodes that have connections with some um, uh, visitors from space. It's uh, interactive too. Uh, and here, uh, even without the space, you can watch uh, the all episodes from uh, Balthazar uh, series. The main uh, inspiration was in uh, propellers that usually Baltas are always used to travel somewhere in the sea, in the space, to the town. And all the cartoon uh, characters are from the space. There are three main characters through all the episodes and they're all uh, presented here. And this is the one episode, uh, the, um, it's the um, one sound, one song where you can, I will say it a little bit later. I just want to say here that this is interactive part, where is, there is an episode with this um, visitor from the space who always has this one song, and all other characters are invited to play along with him. In this series, uh, the characters use bottles, scissors to play some kind of music. It was not the classical instruments, so we gave here ability to play with this singer from space, so the children can play uh, and be part of the episode and a part of the song. Yes, I think that I explained everything. <laughs> so thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed and we're here for the questions or anything else. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hi. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, do you maybe have any questions or something? You're welcome, please yes. come. Uh, you're also welcome to come in physical form. Yes, it will be much better. Thank you very much to you, Riega team. Yeah, you're the, the, the few that are still open. Most of uh, the museums in Europe are closed a second time. So this would actually be the moment to visit you. Thank you very much.
And we are also wow. handing out the free ice creams. Yeah. <laughs> now we actually do. Yeah, we actually do. Yeah. So. Thank you.